Good morning, children. Praise the Lord. We meet again today. Stay happy and healthy in this new day. Before we start our activities, let us start the day with a meditation with God's word this morning. Taken from Jesus is the best and faithful friend book written by Pastor Maralab Sagala. Our topic for today is Jesus answered, it is written. Before we proceed, shall we start with a prayer? Thank you Lord for the new day. Now we are ready to listen to your words. May your Holy Spirit be within us. Thank you Lord. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from Matthew chapter 4 verse 10. It says, Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Since Jesus had been baptized and was about to begin his ministry, Satan tried to thwart his mission. When Jesus was fasting in the wilderness, Satan came to tempt Jesus. Various temptations were presented by Satan to Jesus, whose purpose was to thwart his ministry mission. The first temptation that Satan presented was to turn stone into bread. At the time, Jesus was in need of bread to eat because he was hungry because of the fast. It may be that Satan's aim was to hurt Jesus' fast. What's certain is that this first temptation is related to the main human need of Jesus, the need for bread. But Jesus fortified himself not to be defeated by Satan with the word of God that is written. Jesus answered, It is written. Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 In the wilderness of temptation, Jesus remembered the scriptures very well. Of course, because he had read it, that he said, it is written, he is very smart, and his understanding of the God is beyond that. Luke chapter 2 verse 47 It is very true that it is written in the Bible that man does not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 So, remembering and understanding on what was written was the secret of the victory of Jesus in facing Satan's temptations. Even though Satan tempted Jesus by saying the same, it is written, draw yourself down, because God will command his angels concerning you. But Jesus didn't misuse the statement of the word quoted by Satan. Jesus kept to the word which was written by saying, it is also written, 
Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Matthew chapter 4 verse 7 By saying it is written, Jesus fortifies himself to not be defeated by Satan. And by saying it is written in the word of God, Jesus drove Satan away from him. That's the way on how Jesus, our friend, defeated Satan. So children, we too, as the friends of Jesus, we need to follow his example to fortify ourselves by reading, understanding, and remembering what is written in the Holy Scripture, the Bible. This is the end of our morning worship. May the Lord help us to understanding and always remember what is written in the Bible. May the Lord bless and protect all of the children on this wonderful day. Amen.